Cigarette smoking causes more than 480 deaths a year in the United States alone. <gasps> to outline the extreme harm to smoking tobacco, I will, dis this, I will discuss the serious consequences of smoking. Smoking has more deaths a year than HIV, illegal drug use, alcohol use, and motor vehicle injuries, and even fire alarm related incidences. Smoking is a major problem in the U.S. and can lead to damaging effects that often end up in death. To start off, I will explain how deadly truly smoking is. If your health isn't enough to make you quit smoking, then the health of your baby should be. Harmful effects on the fetus include miscarriage, retardation, preterm birth, postpartum infant death, lung disease, and ADHD. Although this evidence is available and known, smoking is still being done by pregnant women, which is ending up harming their babies. Babies and children exposed to secondhand smoke may also develop asthma, allergies, and more frequent lung and ear infections. They are also at risk for sudden infant death, or SIDS. Smoking anywhere in the house is considered smoke exposure to pregnancy. Smoke exposure to pregnancy lowers the amount of oxygen available to you and your growing baby. It may affect or increase your baby's heart rate, and it also increases their chances of delivering a miscarriage or stillbirth. The more cigarettes you smoke per day, the greater your baby chances of developing these health problems are. There is no level of, sm of safe smoking while pregnant, and all these increase the risk that your baby will be born prematurely or being born with a low birth rate. Increased risk of developing lung problems are also, are also noticed with pregnant smokers. Infants can also be the smoking Infants can also be exposed to smoking by breastfeeding, the chemicals that were transferred from the lungs to the breast milk. According to a 2007 issue of the Chattanooga Times Press, a woman is the oxygen source for her developing fetus. The gases in the smoke replace the oxygen from red blood cells. This, leaving her body without a full oxygen supply, does the baby absolutely no good. Next, I will talk to you about how every single puff of a cigarette kills you. Smokers are more than half than not likely to develop. Smokers are more than likely than non-smokers to develop heart disease and stroke and lung cancer. Studies found that smoking one cigarette increases the stiffness of your arteries by at least 25% in adults that range from 18 to 30. When arteries get stiffer, the heart has to work harder due to the increased resistance, thus ch increasing the chances of heart disease and stroke. Low levels of smoke exposure, which is also known as secondhand smoke, may also lead to respiratory problems. Lastly, things are added, tobacco, added to tobacco to make them taste or feel good. For instance, harmful chemicals such as ammonia are added to tobacco which converts nicotine into a form of gas that gets to the brain faster. Also, filter holes allow people to inhale more smoke deeply into the lungs. And sugar is added to tobacco to reduce the burning sensation of smoking, making it more pleasant and smooth for new cigarette users. Finally, I will discuss the treatments and ways to cure tobacco addiction. At about 90% of people who try to quit smoking do it without any outside support. This method is known as cold turkey, but only 4 to 7% are able to quit by going cold turkey alone. So there are four main forms to quit smoking. There is the nicotine replacement, there is cold turkey, there is a combo theory, and there is medicine. Your brain quickly adapts to the way that you feel when you are on nicotine, and one cigarette can restart the cycle. If you feel down and tired and you think, I need a cigarette, then the cycle may start again. Wow. Over time, the brain learns to predict when you're going to smoke a cigarette. So you need to find your triggers. A trigger, one of the biggest keys to quit smoking, is spotting them. This is what makes you crave smoking, such as caffeine or alcohol. Quitting smoking cuts cardiovascular risk just by 1% after the first day. But after just one year of not smoking, your risk for heart 
attack drops by 50%. Within two to five years of non-smoking, your risk could fall to the same as a non-smoker. If you quit smoking, your risk for cancers of the mouth, throat, and esophagus, and bladder drop within half within five years. And within 10 years, your lung capacity is at 100% than it was as a non-smoker. In conclusion, there are zero benefits to smoking. If someone continues to smoke, then they likely will result dead. In the long term, smokers are at greater risk for health problems. If smokers don't realize they will die, then that is the last stop. Smoking harms the fetus, smoking harms the health of people around you, and most of all, smoking harms you.